What up, Keyforge? It's been a long time, but I'm still Zoc, and we are here for the start of NKFL Season 24. We're back to the Diamond Division. We clawed our way back. It's been four seasons since we've been in Diamond. Uh, we were in Diamond four seasons ago. We went down to gold. We went down to silver. Then we went back up to gold, and now we're back to Diamond. And it's going to be painful because there's a lot of awesome players and a lot of great decks. But it'll be fun and we'll get to see some of the best decks in the world and get destroyed by them. Starting with tonight with versus Emperor Riku. So we are just getting set up here. Oh, they are in. Okay. Okay, um, so, let's check out their decks. They have this crazy mass mutation, Picard, Berger de Carbonversterkung. Um, they have really nice AOA with four helper bots. It's a Genka deck and stealing. Um, there's this mass mutation, Warden, Fun Run Punet, 34 efficiency, triple Kirby, double Kronos. That one's crazy. And then we have three Grim Reminders. We have Kukpi Dot Gitri. Uh, this has Mender. It's got. Winds of Death Key Abduction with double target. Uh, we have the Coachman that advances Leopards. Another Vodka deck with double target. And we have Ing Piduk Bien Um And this one, he can cycle Well of Memory a bunch of times. So I think we're going to get rid of this one to start with. It's a pretty good, pretty good deck. Um, and so let's get rid of it. He banned my vodka deck, Nicole. Um, so then we got to figure out what we want to save. So we have two new ones to our lineup, two new Vietnamese decks, uh, both Grim Reminders. We have Odyssey, or sorry, Odysseus, which is a Worlds Collide. Or sorry, Winds of Exchange. I'm all over the place. We have Miss Sword Cook, the Overworked Trader, which is Worlds Collide, Triple Kirby, Triple Igor, Double Stealth Mode. We have Dao, which is one of our Grim Reminders, which has uh, both Beanstalk, Well of Memory, and the Doctor X combo, Zerks. And then we have Si Dong, uh, which is also a Beanstalk deck, and some other other good stuff in there. So I think, I think we save Dao. Okay. And they're still saving. We are trying to compete against the Vietnamese player with Vietnamese decks. Ho, ho, ho. Now, I'm guessing he saves his better vodka deck. But I could be wrong. He might just want to play one of the others, or he thinks one of the others matches up. Well, no, he saves one of his vodka ducks he saves this one which this one's a little bit faster so i can see it so the question is do we want to ban the other one and i think we do it's not as fast it actually isn't as fast so if we don't ban that what would we ban probably either warden or left column um
Let's see, what do I have left for artifact control? Not a lot. Not a lot. And the reason I was thinking about that is because the autovac and warden actually can do a ton. Um, triple jammer pack. Are we worried enough about this one? Let's see. Double haunting witch with grave pixie, packmate, gibbous, mermug, witch of the eye. Seventeen Ember Pips. It does have a BR Guys Boo in in here somewhere with Haunted House and Winds of Death. And a junk restoration. Yeah, I think we I think we still just ban the Grim Reminders. Ban the Grim Reminders. All right, and he banned my other Vietnamese deck, so that's sad. So what are we going to start with here? Sword Cook, Chair, Odysseus, or Dao? Um, I am a little bit scared of Chair's matchups and Odysseus's matchups. Sword Cook, that's hit or miss. Dao might be a good one to start with. Chair is going to try and dodge Artifact Control. Although Odysseus has a uh, Holofast, which we can, it's got a couple ways that it can high roll. Hmm. Let's start with Odysseus. I, I really have no idea what to start with. We'll start with that. And go from there. Okay, so we're going to go with the Odysseus. They're still picking. We will start a game. Um, well, so what's nice about Odysseus is it does have, um, some good disruption with Abyssal Sight, Befuddle, a double Fathom Reaver. It'd be nice to get the Fathom Reavers out to, um, slow down their speed. Kind of, this has three different ways that it might want to start. The Disruption, Fathom Reaver, slow their drawing. The Crystal Hive, sorry about that. The Crystal Hive and trying to get value there or Holofast. So it's got a couple ways that it could potentially start. Um, we'll see. It can, it is kind of slow though. If if none of those kind of show up, it can be a little bit slow. Okay, they went with their, their good one. So they should be able to dominate me. Let's see if I can 
kick some stuff out of their hand or slow them down with their draws maybe we we got to get lucky on this one okay so uh let's see kook we have odysseus versus kook winds of death for creature control so we we really want to get hollow fast early because then even if they kill it winds of death i could potentially bring it back unfortunately i don't have a way to make it go off the same churn okay so we gotta really just Ooh, wow wow five yeah i think we gotta keep that um What are their artifacts? Plow sword, soul vial, and feeding? All right, that's fine. Uh, they also kept their hand, though, so that's probably not good. So we'll go unfathomable. Adult swim, adult swim. Kelp minder, abyssal sight to get rid of. Mars first or UFO here? Probably the UFO. And then corrode to get rid of grabber jammer. Uh, can't complain about that start. And then we, we went right into Holofast, so that's pretty cool. Let's see, let's check out their our, uh, creature control into the warp, winds of death, proton siphon. Do we hold back? Do we hold back like Harmel here? Because they can just destroy it right away? I don't think so. I think we just go for it. They can destroy it. That's fine. And we'll just reap a lot. They go Starline, so do they have Into the Warp? A Sense Entangler on Harmal Attune. To only matter if they can get Ember on it, which, uh, let's see, they... Strengths from Diversity to Capture on their own. Chief Engineer Walls. Proton Siphon. Okay. Um, uh, let me check their creature control again. Plow Sword, Proton Siphon. Okay, they don't. Well, they do have a Shrink Ray Technician. Um, most powerful creature only. Okay, cool. So we'll go Brobnar here. I think we just fight off everything. We're going to fight with a Rowdy Scald so we can bring it back and capture again. All right, here comes the Geistoid. Junk Restoration. They discard all three. They did discard Shrink Ray to take Hebe the Huge down to one. 
in here somewhere so they do get to archive anything that they want here. They take Junk Restoration, Distant Void Proper. Okay. So we get our key. Uh, we just keep going. We just reap out. If they get a key, that's fine. Reap out is what you gotta do. We'll take the Hall of Fest second churn. They uh, want to get Winds of Death. They didn't. They do get to capture one of my own with Distant Void Prober. Soul Vial comes down. Plowsword deals damage to Harmel. And we just reap out again. Wow, we got so lucky in this one. Drunker Restoration again does not get to the Winds of Death. What a lucky draw. What a lucky draw. Wow. Um, that game like lasted like five minutes. Wow. Okay. Three to one. We'll take it. And then we got to pick what's up next. I think we go sword cook next. Um, let's see from them. What, what, what might we see from them? Picard, Picard, sword cook might struggle versus Picard if they get super big Saurian going. Um, left column sword cook could beat it and it could definitely lose to it too and warden ah warden is also tough sword cook doesn't match up too well into all three of these actually so we do have chair as well Would we rather play chair than sword cook here? Do we go Dao just because it could potentially go against anything? My first thought was first sword cook and then Dao. Um, but uh, I could see chair at least matches up board wise better versus. Picard and Warden. Although Picard, it doesn't match up quite as well against because of the artifact control. Yeah, but matchup wise, I actually think Chair here is the right call. And they put Left Column, so that's probably not good. Um, although Left Column. So we got chair versus left column. Left column doesn't have artifact control. So that is both good and bad for versus Agenka. Both good and bad. Because we have proclamation, which makes key cost eight. Um, that means they can just get more ember before they, they go off. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. Chair can do some work. It's an AOA battle. Um, screech bump, double bramo. Hmm. I do like the then Archimedes and bouncing death cork into him. It's not bad. We'll keep it. Oh, he got rid of my death, my death cork. It was bounced. It was bounced. Hmm. 
I'm not sure how we go about this one. Igor and Archimedes come down. That's not good for us. I'll respond with my own Archimedes. The sting comes down. Nerve blasts their own Igor to archive it. And two ruching jobs. They're up to five. Oh man, this is a really crappy hand here. Really crappy hand here. Okay, we got our redacted. Redacted could be pretty important here. They got both Archimedes out. And both helper bots. That makes my standardized testing awful, honestly. Sky Boost for Squadron and Yancey Gang and Hexbian come out. Oh man. Awful, awful, awful. Um, it's pretty much game over already. <laughs> this is just so bad. Oh, man. Um, let's see. What shall we do here? Should we hold the graft? Uh, I guess so. I guess so. We got to have some. Hmm, they didn't pull their archive. They're definitely filling their archive up. Not good at all. Um, let's see. First, we want Gatekeeper to capture. The question is... Do we stun Logos or Mars here? I think the Mars. Oh, god dang it. I forgot. Oh, we finally got Gengar Knot. It's a little bit late. A little bit late. Gengar Knot could do some work, though. They get rid of my helper bot. Okay. I'm okay with that. Mac the knife. Okay, so we got to do some board control. Fight. Let's 
Sky Booster Squadron. We'll fight. Actually, we need a reap to get to check. Let's reap to get to check here. Uh, Groggins will come out. Drummer knot will come out. Ah oh, man, this is no good. No good at all. Okay, and then we gang or not. Uh, let's see, so we got one, two, three, four, five. Let's see, is Drummer not already done though? I think so. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so it's done. Um, I totally forget what they have for creature control, that bouncing death cork. That's right, they can get rid of anything with that. So we are going to hold on to the Gengar here. And uh, we got a Drummer Knot too, so that's perfect for holding on to the Gengar. And we are at check. Doesn't mean too much, but it's something. It's something. They have nine in their archives. We know that they probably already have Genka. They can probably fill the board and key abduct or something. Uh, they might even be able to do it from Logos. Probably what they're going to do here. I'm sure it is. So will we even get one key? Uh, probably not. There's the Martian Generosity. There's the Key Abduction. Okay, they are both in discard, so that's good. But, they have 25 cards in their hands, so... Let's see, what do they discard out of their last five? Let's see, what do they have to draw again? I always forget. They have Professor Sutterkin. Professor Sutterkin, the only way they... Oh, Dust Chronicles. Dust Chronicles, yeah. Okay, so what did we miss? Igor, Helperbot, Helperbot to play Nerve Blast and Routine Job to take me off check. Oh, they put another Routine Job in with the, the Igor. How annoying. They did get the Dust Chronicles... Oh, they discarded Dust Chronicles. Okay. Then there comes a the Bouncing Death Cork. They do do a Dasania. Professor Sudikin. 
Okay. So they still have 14 in hand. One. Two. Three, four, five, six. That means I left my Gengar out there, which isn't great. Mars needs Ember, Agent Human, Mind Warper, Mind Worm, Double Vesima Think Drone, Shock Worm, Skyburster Squadron, and Harvester. So they didn't get to redraw those, so that's good. And it's actually okay if they... Do we play the Proclamation here? Maybe not? We'll just do that. Oh yeah, they still have the sting. Perplexing sophistry nails me again. Takes out Bramo. Ronnie wrist clock steals one. Lemindra Yancey gang comes down. They get rid of my poke as well with subtle maul. They say they're at check, but they're really not because of the sting. That they draw into... Let's see, we need to get rid of our Gengar Chieftain here, I think. Hmm. Discord Brahma. We are so screwed. We should just go logo a bunch to try and get a key through retracted. <laughs> There's our second key, and that's game. And there's a key objection, oh, because they had a Martian gen. Yeah, that was a bad matchup. But that is what it is. I got lots of luck in the first one, so... Three zero, that was painful. All right, and now we gotta go with our big gun.
DAO. And we'll see how it does. It hasn't really played in any leagues or anything, so no idea how it'll do. So I definitely should have played Sword Cook that last game, but yeah. I definitely didn't know. I expected one of the other decks. Uh, they went with Picard for the last game. Okay. Dow versus Picard. Do I care about my artifacts? Well, I do have Will of Memory, but I don't really care about that. What else do they have? They have Punctuated Equilibrium, which is pretty big. Double Nature's Call is pretty big. And they have lots of artifact control to get my Beanstalk. So, but we also have the Zerks. Um, so we'll see what we can do. We don't have a ton of speed here, but Will of Memory can bring back some stuff if we need. Uh, we did get Beanstalk turn one. So I think we want to keep that. We'll start with Mars and we'll put out Floxum Spewer. All right, Star Alliance, they go. Oh, here come the Kirby's. With the Nature's Call, Central Chief Garcia, Kirby, City State Interest, and that's it. Okay. So we'll go Brobnar, we will lash out the Kirby, Beanstalk, Morik, we'll take out that, and we will Smith. Ooh, and we got two more Brobnar creatures. They go right back into Star Alliance, Contrino Flux, and Tachyon Pulse. Wow. And punctuated equilibrium. We do have a winds of death here. It means we would give them back a Kirby and a Garcia. What did they archive? Tribune Pompidus. Yeah, they're trying to set up that. Go Brobnar again, down the size gray, we put out Morik again, we do here, and we fight here. Let's see, we got to be careful about Winds of Death now, because then they get back all of their star lines. So I think we actually have to discard Winds of Death here. We'll have to get Zip a different way, I think. They regrow the Kirby. Yep. Yeah, they got too much good Star Alliance for me to win the death here, I think. We're going to discard it. There comes the Kirby again. They must have, do they have the blaster? Ingram heals it or wards itself. Okay. With Quadricorder, they reap with Explorer Rover. What do they play with Kirby here? Let's see. An Imperial Scutum. They must have Tribute. Well, they discarded one tribute, but they have another. Okay. Soul Bomb here is actually pretty dang good. Okay. 
Well, we're going to go Geistoid again. We'll do some Vampiric Energies on Ingram. The question is, do we reap with Touchstone and draw two? I think we got to fight here. Well, we definitely got to fight off the Kirby. I think we have to fight off the Ingram too. I think that was the right call. Ooh, we do have Iron X Rebel Doctor X. Our combo is almost complete. Zip is in the discard though. All right, here comes the giant Saurian army. That is a problem. I could steal Tribune Pompidus, though. That'd be pretty interesting. Um, Abductomatic. Can't do a lot. We'll do that. Destroy the rebel. Um, unfortunately, we just gave stuff for Legatus Raptor to fight into, which isn't ideal. I think we actually fight the legionary here. Now let's let's fight the raptor. We need well of memory here. Is what we need. Okay, they go sorry, and they're gonna have to clean up my board, I think or they're going to run into trouble. Let's see what they decide to do. Yep, Raptor fights Xylox effects. That's not a big surprise. They use Explore Rover to take it out. Okay. Raider Gallon Exhaust to make my keys cost more. Throw Centurion fights Zip and Tricerian Legionary Reaps and Senator Shrix comes out. And Tribute goes on to Gargantadon, okay? That is just fine with me. So, here's the dilemma. Do I... Yeah, I think I do. We gotta get rid of the Well of Memory so that we can pump up our tribute collectors to take out some of their stuff. Okay. 
Oh my god, we didn't even get the Will of Memory. Wow. We got one, though. So let's pump up this guy. We'll put Reaver over here. We're going to fight. This touchstone. Oh, we can reap. Oh, we didn't get the Will of Memory. Dang. We finally got the Will of Memory. Let's see. We know they have another's nature call, right? So they could totally wreck us with that. But that's all right. We got Will of Memory. We can then uh, go into our zipping. Zip zips. Let's see, so one scutum is gone, is both? Yeah, both scutums are gone, that's good. This is a really interesting game. They do have Contrino Flux, that'll be huge. Uh, they already used it though, right? It's the same power. They use that right away, right? Yep. Okay, so if they get back to it, they do go untamed. Song of the Wild. Reap, reap, then nature's call, probably. Bring back the Mermook and hit two of mine and then blow up or bring back the Pompidus, too. Yeah, that's what they did. Called it. Okay. Oh, yeah, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go Geistoid. First, we're going to Reap with Reaver. Take this Ember so that we can discard Skull Face and deal three damage to Zip. And then we're going to Well of Memory and get rid of these four to bring back Plaguewind, Dr. X, Rebel, and Zip. And then we're going to reap. Ooh, energy, energy vampirism. Perfect. Oh, man. What do we want a vampirus? Hmm. Rape here, too.
We'll have Gargantodon capture from its own side. No, Thero Centurion. And then we can deal three damage. One, two, three. And then we'll end turn. All right. And then we got Mars. And they don't have punk anymore. They only have one punk, right? <laughs> uh oh. Only one punk. Okay. Could they draw into it with like a Kirby's blaster? That would be bad. I think the Kirby's and the blasters are all gone. So. I think we're all right here. But they do have, what, city state interest? They didn't use that already. Oh, they used it right away. That's right. That's right. That was like first or second turn. Okay. So we can make mega space bucks next turn. Plague win will take out most of their board. We'll do it. I think we'll capture Harmonia and see if we can get extra Ember that way too. Okay, they go untamed. They're trying to unsuspecting prey. Okay. That means more of my stuff will die to Plague Win, which I'm okay with. Reap, 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 reap. And then Ghost Hawk. That's pretty good. They do get another key. Oh, except I have Jammer Pack. So, maybe they don't. They just redrew, so this is perfect. Let's see, how many creatures do they have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I have one, two, three, four, five. I'd have to play this. So. That'd be eight. I'd steal this guy. I might probably only get one more Ember out of Harmonia. So I don't think it's worth it. So we're going to play Gwyn first. Then we're going to Dr. X, zip, that's one. Two, we're gonna steal Mermook first. Three, we'll steal Tentadlin. Three, four, we'll steal Tracerian Legionary. Four. Um, five will steal Rusnar. So who do we want to scoop up here? We should have scooped up first. I think we'll scoop up Centurion and Rustar. Okay. 
This should be six. Oh, we could do void prober here. Uh, let me count one, two, three. One. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, we still got one more. Six. So yeah, we will steal Gargantadon. Destroy Rebel. Then we'll bring back um, Descend Void Prober. Reap with it. Oh, I'm not haunted. So the Jammer. Jammer pack is really good here. And then we'll reap and then we'll say okay. Okay, so we stop the key. Oh, now comes our Kirby Kirby Blaster. They read you into it right away. I hope they don't draw anything good. Not even give me a second key. All right, Dow came through big time. Huge Mars play. And we took out a former NKFL champion, Emperor Riku. Yeah. Oh, what's up, Liquid Squash? Uh, this was game three. So we just, um, we got super lucky in our first game. Uh, we got five unfathomable cards, and then we got Holofest turn two, and then we just repped, reaped out with uh, Barabnar a whole bunch for that game. So we won that game three keys to one. Uh, the second game, they totally destroyed us 3-0 uh, with their Genka deck. And then this one, we just won 3-1 with uh, one of our new Grim Reminders decks. So taking out Emperor Riku feels really good. Thanks, man. Uh, really surprising on that one. So, all right, let's go. How you doing, Nick? Good seeing you. Uh, hope hope you're doing well. Hopefully, we'll play again again sometime. And uh, yeah, it was great seeing you in Vegas. Uh, good luck in NKFL this season for you as well. Whoo! That was that was pretty nuts. Okay, so yeah, he was saying I couldn't stop or I wouldn't be able to Yeah, I guess I could just fight with Abductomatic. With UFO I could also reap with Disenvoid Prober, so yeah. I could have stopped his second key and then he wouldn't have been able to stop me, so We'll take that. Whoo. Alrighty. Um, so that was an exciting start to our NKFL season. We are going to be playing against a whole bunch of great players. Let's, let's check them out. Uh, we got... Starting versus Emperor Riku. Next up, we have Viper, who always has super challenging decks. Then we have Vargast, who's got a sass average of probably like 105 or something. It's nuts. Um, then we have David Papiani, an amazing player from Italy. Um, Runner-up, I think, in the world's last year in in uh, alliance we have gwed a, a great french player and then we finish it up versus two abr we have aviator and shaka double double national champ aviator and multiple uh vault tour winner shaka so it's going to be quite quite 
the division. What's up, Riku? Nice to see you. Um, that was a crazy set of games. Uh, I definitely got super lucky in that first game. Ooh, you and Vargas are in the secret high sash channel. Oh, I didn't. I guess I haven't even looked at what decks you're running. Uh, let's take a quick look. Okay. Oh wait, I was looking at the wrong place. Nice. Okay, yeah. Hundred three ninety seven ninety seven. Well, it is. It's it's definitely high sass, but it's not. It's not Vargas high sass. Oh look at this! Everybody's bringing Vietnamese decks, Riku, to try and combat the Vietnamese master. Yeah, I know. Uh, I think I think Winds of Exchange was still good, and and all sets still had a chance. Grim reminders, though, the power creep went too high, too high, uh, too high. It's going to be an interesting future. But Sealed is still fun, no matter what. Yes, you are supplying the world with overpowered decks. Yeah, congratulations. Yeah, so Vargast has four decks over 100, two over 110, one over 120. Yeah, this, this is just nuts, nuts, nuts here. Um, Shaka also has 110 and three others over 100. He's super high SAS average over 100. So we got we got quite the division, quite the division. I am also looking forward to Ember Skies. Um, so now that you're here, now that more people are here, should I open a deck? Normally I open a deck, win or lose, kind of. I have three decks. I have... Worlds Collide, I have Mass Mutation, and I have Winds of Exchange. Any preferences, or should I should I not? Should I not even open one? There's something special about each of them. Whoa! Okay, the special thing about Whoa is it's in Polish. So... Let's get this going. So we got to go by art. And I'm actually not very good at the art. Okay, we start with a defender token. All right. There's some defender synergies. I'm still surprised we didn't see a busted defender deck do really good in a vault tour. All right. Our, we have a gray archon. And the name is, well, this is, this is flipped. Let me flip this. How did this get flipped? Transform. Whoa, I just got flipped. All right, we have Zlodzika Kantorska. Uh, a cool little archon. It's got like a nice little sword thing going on and and we got Brobnar Unfathomable Sanctum. So we're gonna start with Brobnar and the floor is lava. And next up is Overrun. And another overrun. Let's hope we have some killing. Oh we have Smith Wow, that's a long name for Smith. Midzi Mlotam Koalam. Okay, cool. We have a fire spitter. That name is huge. <laughs> uh, all right, we have a press gang. Pok 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 Vissen. Uh, we have another press gang with an ember. That's pretty cool. But we need some, some way to kill. I mean, we got Fire Spitter. We need ways to kill. Okay, we have uh, the guy that does the enhancing, whose name I forget. All right, we have a Shock Herder. That's good. Shock Herder with a capture. 
Ooh, another shock herder. Let's hope we get more than just a fire spitter to, to do some herding. We have a strato smack. Okay, we can do some fighting there. Yeah, rowdy skull. Thank you. We have another strato smack. And that's it. Um, that's a very weird Brobnar. Uh, I guess we can make a lot of tokens. I don't think the overrun's ever happening. Unless we get really lucky, they have a bunch of one damage creatures and we can fire spitter them. All right, on to Sanctum, and I believe this is Alms Master. And this is Gray Augur, I believe. Uh, Orm, or, or whoops, Orm of Gom, or uh, the new one. My light went down. Okay. We will fix that very quickly. Okay. And then we have um, Colonel Mariana. And uh, Grand Melee. Cassiel the Benevolent. Uh, I don't know this one. Is this like conscription or something? I think it's, is it making token for ember on a creature? I'm not sure. I don't know that art. I don't know that art. Oh, we have a ostentatious mount with an extra ember pip. We have panned off the provoker. And we have Retribution and Revered Monk, not that exciting, and Taxing Journey. And that's the end of our Sanctum. I don't think this is a good Defender deck. We were hoping for like four membership drives and whatever, the, the one that if you're a knight, it makes makes more tokens or something. Oh, was that a membership drive? Sweet. Yeah, 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 you're right. Okay, cool. Wait, but membership drive doesn't care about ember, right? Oh, no, gain one ember for each. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Okay, cool. Uh, We're not making a ton of tokens, so... Yeah, probably still not that exciting. Uh, we have a Corrode, Karolska, and a Kalpi, and Sleep with the Fishes, I think. And, um, oh, this, this is the elusive one. That with the reap you can uh, make a token creature and purge. I forget what they're called. Ghost something. Uh, another one of those. Uh, we have crushing deep. Figurific rod. Uh, initiation. Another initiation. Kelp, Kelpminder. Skull Crab with a capture pip. Another Skull Crab, and that's it. And then we have our Defender token, Abros Abrosa. Cool. Well, that was not a very exciting Winds of Exchange deck, but that is. Uh, Zlozika. All right. Well, that's a stream. Um, excited to get first win in. I guess we'll, we'll at least get one win in Diamond this year. So I can at least say that. Um, really exciting matches versus a great player and great decks. 
tokens of exchange soon yeah and more mutation and even ember sky is sh shipping it's shipping ship it i'm excited uh we need some new new sets new sets yeah all right that's your stream thanks thanks for watching hope you're all doing awesome and i will see you next time let me pull up some outro music just for fun uh but yeah you y'all rock have a good day good night wherever you're at and as always forge responsibly see you later everyone take care <music>